beautiful coordinates for just a teeny bit of money? Well, you can suit yourself, and I'm going to show you how, so stay by, please. So, what's new? Starring Vogue Sewing Authority, Mr. George W. Trippon. Now, of course, today we're going to do the first segment of our Suit Yourself group. And that particular segment is going to be, of course, our jacket. Oh, what a lovely jacket. Now, we're going to put in the bus dart. And again, please notice we spill some pins for ourselves. Put on your eyes and match. Now this has all been so marked that it's foolproof. It's marked just as a pattern told me to mark it. I pin based, and notice when I pin based, I use just the tip of the pin, and I pin at the outside edge and then to the end of the dart. And then of course we match here and pin midway. Midway, and then midway once more midway, a uh, midway. I don't need you yet, darling. Get out of here. Now, when we put this dart in, you must associate that this dart, ladies, <laughs> you know, caresses the bosom. The bosom is round. Did you notice it's not square? It doesn't come to a point. Did you notice that? <laughs> so as we come to the point here, imagine that you are curving the bosom. Oh, lovely bosom, bosom, bosom. And you might be taking two or three stitches beyond that point. Notice my feed dog is up. That's called a feed dog. <laughs> lovely little dog. <laughs> now, always cut this thread long here because I prefer that you tie a couple of knots here, please. One knot, two knots. Thank you. And always, because I don't want any bumps there. And look how gorgeous. Oh, look, it even caresses my hands. So you can imagine what it'll do to your bust. <laughs> now, I'm going to take the back here, which has been pre-assembled here, of course, for a time element. And I don't have that much time. I'm going to put the shoulders together. Shoulders, where are you? Now, bring the back right side up. Lay the garment shoulder to shoulder here and then shoulder to shoulder here. Now, I keep telling you people, and I will keep telling you people, because life is nothing but repetition. I've found out the same damn thing day in and day out. And it's the same with your pin basting. Pin where the stitching takes place. For instance, here, make sure you bring this out and you pin where the stitching takes place. This is very, very important. Now this is pin basting. Notice I'm matching a notch here. Notches on the pattern are very, very important. And then of course the dart has been pressed, pre-pressed with the iron. Thank heavens, I don't have to do it with my hot little hand today. <laughs> and then of course you pin midway. And then you pin here too. And watch please, here it is very, very important. We always match seams where the stitching takes place and the stitching takes place here right there. Now for those of you beginners, and I'm sure there are a few, we're all beginners at something or other, just like somebody, as somebody once said to me, everybody is somebody's bore, so we're all beginners at something, <laughs> I'm telling you. So I want you people to notice, you know, things are always coming out. <laughs> oh, see, even my thread came out, really, George Trapon. Now when you thread your needle, please cut your thread at an angle so you can thread it properly and then go in there. There, isn't that lovely? Now, when you start at the outside edges here, a lot of people complain. They always go back and forth and make bumps. I prefer you take a shorter stitch there to catch this and then go into your regular stitch. Now, watch this trick. <laughs> this is a trippy trick. If ever there was one, let me tell you. I'm trippy, you know. Let's call me George W. Tupon. Okay. Now look, when I come up to the neck here, you never sew over pins. I'm watching the gauge over here. As I come near the neck edge, I make a shorter stitch to hold that. See, we don't want that to come out. We don't want that to pop out. So we're here into a short stitch, and I go into the regular stitch again to the outside here. Now you've got to be very, very, very careful on this as I go into a short stitch here so that the seam won't come out because you know, it reminds me of that poor lady who went to the races for the first time, poor dear. Just before she left home, the elastic in her panties broke. <laughs> so 
so she used a safety pin to pin it. And of course, she'd never been to the races before. And somebody said, get close to the railing when the races started. And uh, she got near the ra her railing, you know. And of course, now we have our shoulder seams in. And guess what? All of a sudden, the announcer yelled, they're off! The poor lady fainted. <laughs> I'm telling you, so you gotta be careful about those things, you know. So you see, now the shoulders are in, and I'll be ready for the very next step. And notice how beautiful the darts are in. This is the first segment of our jacket, and we'll be doing a little bit more, so please, you will all stay with me, and I'll be right back. Now, of course, we're going to be putting the side seams together of our Suit Yourself group. Now, this jacket happens to be unlined. And I don't know whether the camera picks this up or not, but I have zigzagged this on my zigzag machine. Now, of course, those of you who don't have a zigzag machine, you can overcast that by hand. Makes a suit worth, worth much more money, you know, by hand. Then we match. Now, always match the seams where the stitching takes place, please. And, of course, this pattern is an okay pattern because it's been checked out and seams that sew one to the other must be of equal length. Sometimes a fabric in the cutting may give one way or the other, but you must always match. Now, I am pin basting. Notice. There, there, midway, midway, midway. That's enough midways, George. Get on with it. Okay, now we pin this, bring it under the machine, drop the presser foot, and then we'll start sewing. Now here too, where we start sewing, please, take a shorter stitch so that the seam will come out, and go back to your regular stitch. Now, of course, the dart lays down. And, of course, this dart hasn't been pressed yet, but I haven't had time to press it naturally because I'm on the air, but you're in the kitchen. So you go to that ironing board and you iron those darts and make sure you shape them over that bust like that. You don't do what I do, you know. Now, you continue on down here, right on off to the hem area. Take a shorter stitch. Oh, lovely, George. Thank you. So you must be nice to your machine. Nice machine. Okay, now we're going to put a stay stitch around the neckline. This is very, very important. I have this little hole on my machine. I hope you can see it. And of course, I have a ruler. Girls measure everything. From the needle there right to there is five-eighths of an inch. Believe me, it is. Huh. Of course, you know, that uh, I read someplace once a long time ago that the theme song of the liar was now this is the truth. So I must be careful. Now, I'm putting in a stay stitch around the neckline and notice how I have opened up my shoulders. You have pre-pressed them, but make sure the, the shoulder seams are open as you go around the neckline. As you come over to here too, notice I am not watching the needle. If you watch the needle, you'll never sew straight. I'm gauging it over here with this little hole on my machine. Some machines have gauges and you can make your own gauge. And I've come right down to there. Lovely. It's enough, George. Stop. Trim, 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 trim. You have to talk to yourself, you know, so you remember what you're doing. Now I'm going to put the collar on. What the hell are you doing? You're not here. I'm just doing a lot of stuff around here. <laughs> you don't belong to this garment. A floral print. Now, there's a the center back. You see the, we've marked it. I'll even clip it. Uh, clip -a -la. Now, this is very important, the step that I'm about to do. So look, please. We lay the center back of the collar to the center back of the garment, which we've marked, so we can see it. Of course, the older you are, <laughs> the heavier you mark it. I'm speaking for myself now, George. <laughs> talking about for you people. Now, of course, over in here, we have a notch and we match this notch. The collar has been pre-assembled, and even the collar here has been whipped around here, even though it's going to be buried in a second. Now, here is a large circle, a dot. It's called, now, when you do the collar, this is the right side of the collar, make sure you push this under so you have a professional-looking collar. Lovely, 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 lovely. I always say it's lovely. Work with you. Now, here's the thing. The pattern even tells you clip where necessary. And of course, you clip with the scissors. You see how that draws tightly there? If you clip there, which is midway between the center front and the shoulder seam, and then clip midway between the center back and the shoulder seam, notice that when we put that seam together here, that releases that and helps you get a good fit in the collar area. Yeah, I always shorten that a bit. I 
talk more slowly so it will sink in on you. <laughs> Telling you. All right, George, get on with it for crying out loud. Match the notch to the notch like that. We are stitching our collar on at this point. On to this point here. Now, those of you who aren't too sure of your sewing, please make sure that you baste stitch. Now, I'll be stitching this on, and while I'm stitching this on, the camera will probably fade away from me, but I don't want you to fade away either. You may have that cup of coffee, but please don't fade off. I'll be right back with you. Our collar facing. And of course, we've marked it on the wrong side, so it's right side to right side. And we're going to be putting the facings together first. Notice we match the notch here, match it there, and notice when we match where the stitching takes place right here, there's that little protrusion, and then we pin midway, and then I match the collar here. Now you have to be very, very careful about this where you're putting the facing on here because you have to make sure it coordinates what the they mean by coordinate? Oh, let me tell you what I mean by coordinate. You see, it must be a continuous line, so it's this, see? Oh, lovely, beautiful, tell, I'm telling you. If you watch carefully, you must remember, as they say, wherever they say it, I don't know, I read in a book someplace, observation is nine-tenths of learning, and if you don't watch yourself in this life, people will be observing you someplace where you shouldn't be. <laughs> I tell you. Now, as I come near the neck edge here, I take a shorter stitch again, please. And here's my trick. You know, we have an energy crisis. We're supposed to save everything, so I'm wasting thread. Out of the way, thread, please. So watch. The short stitch is on. So just bring this section of the facing under there. So you have the short stitch there. Go back to your regular stitch, and then come back to your longer stitch. Oh, shorter stitch, George Trapon, really. Practice what you preach. Thank you. There. Oh, oh, oh. Now we're going to, of course, press these seams open. So excuse me while I plug myself in. Hot, hot, hot hands. <laughs> hot, hot hands. See? Oh, oh. Some fabrics press lovely by hand, especially with my hot little hand there. Now, on this too, notice I have pre-clipped a little bit just three-eighths in, no more than that, please. And do the same thing between the center front and the shoulder area here and at the area here, because now you know what happened to the other edge. Now we lay center back to center back. In other words, we are making a sandwich. You sandwich the collar between the facing and the garment. <laughs> sandwich. Poor man in the restaurant, what happened to him? I'm telling you, in this day and age, you never know. You have to be so careful. So you watch that. The sandwich reminded me of that, you know. Poor man went into the restaurant and he put his hat and coat on the hat rack. And he says, please watch your hat and coat. And pretty soon he yelled for the manager. He says, please come over here, I have a complaint. He says, yes, may I help you? He said, yes, I was watching my hat and coat and somebody walked off with my dinner. <laughs> telling you. So we are sandwiching sandwiching, sandwiching the collar. Now here, bring it very tightly, please, right to where that dot is, because you want that collar to flow out of there, like the Blue Danube flows. The first time I was there, too, I expected the Blue Danube. I looked at that muddy stream of water running down there full of mud. <laughs> And I said to the guy, I said, well, I don't get it. I thought it was the Blue Danube. He says, the Blue Danube is blue only to the people who are in love. Well, that night, <laughs> I'm sorry, it was still muddy. <laughs> there. Now we're going to put on the collar section. And of course, we have pre-stitched that neck edge. So we'll be sewing to this side of that pre-stitched edge to hide the stitching. It won't really matter, though, if you don't hide it, because it'll be under the collar. And you know, we had a multitude of sins in clothes. Did you know that? <laughs> I always say, leave perfection to God. <laughs> We're his children. 
As long as we're nice to each other, that's all that matters. Now look, all my seams are open here at the shoulder and I continue sewing. I am nesting the collar, nesting the collar, nesting the collar where I am. I feel like a little bird, a little bird, tweet, tweet. <laughs> What the hell happened to you? You're not supposed to be there. Get out of there. You belong over here. Thank you. Lovely. There. Well, you see, if you don't plan ahead, <laughs> you get behind. Like that poor butcher, you know, backed up in the meat grinder and got a little behind in his orders, too, let me tell you. So you see, here we are. We have the collar on, I'm telling you. Now, of course, we'll be trimming away all this excess. So, are you ready? Yes, one, two, three. Trim, 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 trim. Don't you dare cut the jacket. Trim, 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 trim. Oh. Lovely trim. <laughs> there should be a wastebasket around here someplace. I know. I have one in my house somewhere. Oh! Please, you don't start sewing till something's under there. What do you mean? Oh, come, come, come. What did you do to me? All these darn things happen, honestly, and they shouldn't happen. Come out. Out. There. See? Never get excited. Just relax. <laughs> Just take your time. Honestly. Hear the click and it's in. Bring the thread up. Lovely. Thank you. Now we're going to understitch. Just the back section here from shoulder to shoulder across the back here. There you are. I told you a minute ago I didn't want you in there. Thank you. Now all the seams are laying towards that way, <laughs> towards the facing. And then we come down under here and we start here. Now when you are stay stitching or under stitching, excuse the expression, not to keep the facing from rolling up, we come along here and we let this fold edge come just inside the presser foot. That's what you are watching, this fold edge just inside the presser foot. And of course there's that little tuck I was telling you about. I told you to get out of there, thank you. <laughs> Now, don't worry about that, because see, that's why we top stitch here. As I told you earlier, we had all kinds of corruption inside the garment. That's all the corruption you'll see from me for the rest of this show, let me tell you. Ease it in nicely there, lovely. Oh, I'm telling you, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Okay, up, up. And then, of course, please trim as you sew. Trim as you sew. Now you see it's at this point here that the collar will never roll up. And look how beautiful that looks. Oh, I'm telling you. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now let's see. Sleeves. We have sleeves, yes, and we have a pair for one arm and the other arm, <laughs> right arm, left arm. Now we also have notches, so study your map well. <laughs> I mean your pattern, your map. Same as a road map. All right, there we are. This is the left side. It's the left side, right, left, left. All right, remember that, please. You watch for me. That's the left side. And the left side has the uh, little protrusion there. That's the back. Out of the way. Thank you. And then that comes that way. Oh, I'm sorry. You were right. Come back. <laughs> there, that's right. All right, so we turn the garment right side up, and we make sure... What, well, George Trippon, what are you doing today? See, this is why notches are important. See that little twit sticking up there? That little, well, that's the front, because see, it's sticking up there, too. That's the front, that's the left side, that's the left arm. Finally, George Trippon. There. Lay the sleeve, and then look into the hole, see? There. Attack. <laughs> then we know that it's left side to left side, underarm to underarm. Now here's what we have, a joint seam. We match the seam where the stitching takes place. Repeat after me. Where the stitching takes place. Please, put nothing in your mouth. Your mother told you never put anything in your mouth you can't eat. <laughs> Telling you. Now, 
press the shoulder open, which you have done, and there is the shoulder dot. See it? That big black dot. And there is the pin. Make sure up here that you put a couple of pins to make sure that that seam lies flat open. Now, the sleeve has been pre-gathered. We always have gathering here, you know, for movement and all. But the gathering is really easy because you know, well, you don't know. Some of you know, but I'm going to tell you, and then you'll all know. And everybody will know what everybody else didn't know a little while ago. That, you know, the <laughs> sleeve is always larger by at least an inch to an inch and a half than the armhole. That's for the ease we need in here for movement and all that nonsense, you know. Of course, a lot of women overdo that nonsense as far as I'm concerned. They get one of these gorgeous couture dresses that they pay, you know, $50 for, <laughs> I mean, $150 for a couture, George, you said. Couture. And then look, you pin where that stitching took place and then here, and then here, and then here. Now, the sleeve is a very important item. We match the notch here and match in here. I'm releasing some of this. And notice as I start putting the sleeve in, this is the very, very important part of this section. And I will be sewing in the sleeve here. Bring the thread down, start sewing. Continue on around here, right there. Then please, watch this part please. Now I'll be fading out on you people, but please, I repeat, stay with me. Go have that cup of coffee and look how I'm sewing the sleeve. And I'll have the sleeve completed before I come back. So please stay with me, won't you? Continue on around here. Continue sewing. <laughs> group will be making up the whole suit. So you'd better stay with me and watch every show. Ciao. Consideration provided by Vogue Patterns and Unique Zippers. Wouldn't you love to have this beautiful wardrobe of coordinates for just a little bit of money? Well, you can. Suit yourself with Vogue Pattern 8806, a four-piece ensemble to mix and match for a complete wardrobe. Each piece is so easy to sew, you'll watch your wardrobe grow in amazement. Get Vogue Pattern 8806 wherever Vogue Patterns are sold. Suit yourself. It's the greatest for travel, for work, or for any occasion.